Bro, who said these are uncomfortable? Yo, even a th for a 30 year old shoe, man. 30 years, bro. Not much tech has changed. These joints are freaking comfortable, man. Comfortable. It's recording? Yeah, it's finally recording. Damn, it took a while. Anyways, man, what's poppin' home? This is your boyfriend, you back in the building. I'm at uh, Nike Outlet Island. If I pull up, see what's poppin'. Haven't been here, you already know the routine. Haven't been here for a while, yada, yada, yada. Which is true, which is weeks. When I say I haven't been here for a while, we talk about at least a week or more. So, we gotta go inside and see what's popping, man. Hopefully, there ain't no line. Florida reopen phase three, so everything is wide open, man. So, hopefully, we just pull up, see what's popping, make a vlog out of it. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned. And after that, maybe I'm gonna hit y'all in the head with Adidas vlog, but that's for the Adidas lovers. And that's gonna be in a separate video. Go your got the all feet man. We got the Justin Timberlake. What's poppin' on with your boyfriend? Lady back in the building. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. I had to re record this. How? My nose is clean. Different perspective. How I like this, yo. This is new uh vlogging angle right here. Oh, it's a freaking line, man. So I guess I wait in line and um it might clear up by the time. Yeah, hopefully. Talk to my wife, she's with me. Last time I've been over here, she's been with me too. So you gonna walk around? You gonna walk around? Right, I'll be here. Hopefully it don't take so long. Hope you don't find me in the same spot that <laughs> you left me in. Yo, it's a line, yo. What's that about? Stop playing with me. How how do you guys made it here so quickly, bro? <laughs> how do you guys made it here so quickly? Weren't y'all overseas release? Or am I tripping? I think this is overseas release only. Um, then they came out on the sneakers app. I don't remember any uh, foot traffic sites having these joints. But anyways, these are the um, Air Jordan 6. I wanna say the Kai's. Um, multiple sizes, it looks like. 11, I did one of this shoe, but I only see size 11 as being the biggest size. I would add to my size, size 12. So we'll see here shortly. See eight and a half, the size is this. It's like this could be a bigger box. Size 12, boom, jackpot. I just hold on to it. I think I'll do this. My fault. <laughs> this is why I get up trying to vlog and hold the damn shoe up. Oh. So right now I'm in the Nike outlet on Violent. And I just checked my email. I just remembered that Nike sent me an email saying I get 20% off my entire purchase. So that's what I'm trying to use. I'm going to try to use that today. Um, so we'll see what we try. On feet, got those Nike Air Raid joints. Nah. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, size 12, Frank. Frank? Yeah. So I went a pair of shoes, didn't have my size, so he's about to order it for me, man. But anyways, man, Nike Air Rays on feet. Now, to be fair, I had these joints like maybe uh, a week, maybe two weeks ago. I just never did a review. I just recently posted a video. I'm not even sure when you've seen this video. It'll probably have them about three weeks by the time you see this video. But um, these are actually comfortable, man, despite a lot of what people are saying. I know they got some old tech in there, actually little to no tech at all. But the only noticeable uh, tech they have in it is just the outsole because it was, it was kind of rigged for outdoor use only, black top. But these are dope, man, very comfortable on feet. But I hooping them, if I do, it probably be uh, indoor, and I don't know if this would be a good uh, indoor basketball shoe. So, you know, truth be told, we'll see. Maybe I'll give it a go. But right now I'm rocking them casually. Nike, you got a problem. What is this about, bro? Why is there a stock X tag on one of your shoes, bro? I'm not making this up. I'm in a Nike outlet, y'all. Authenticated. And on top of that is a 200. Like, what's that about? Air Max 200s. It's only on one of the shoes, bro. Not a good look. Definitely not a good look. All right, man, first up the deck in the Air Max section 109 for these uh, 2090s. I'm not a fan of the 2090s. I, I mean, I am just a certain colorways, but you'll peep this. Vapor Max is growing on me. I own no pair. I'm not really a fan of them, but this is unique. I like the colors, man. It seems like I've been liking these crazy skittle looking colors, Fruit Loops looking colors. But these are hitting for 170 though, man. All right, yo, the Air Max Plus OG. This 
I mean, the Silhouette's OG. This color is definitely not, man. It's like a floral looking color, green, tamed down. What color is this, actually? Subway fiberglass white, okay. 130 is the price though. Till wing fours, going for 90. Just been here for a good minute. Damn essentials though, bro. They have not budged in price since they <laughs> been in the outlet like a year and a half ago, man. The all white joints. They had another colorway. Actually, they had two different colors. I think it was red and a different other color. I forget at this point. The bath rug, uh, Air Max 90s joints. Look at that oversized hang tag, bro. That's ridiculous. 99 for those, multiple sizes. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are right. oh, you good, man? Another Air Max 90. We've been seeing this throughout um, Orlando yeah, in multiple different outlets. Same price though, 100, multiple sizes for those. Let me get right back. And seven joints, another Air Max 90. Not mad at it, but the price here could be better, yo. And why the hell is this Monarch in the Air Max aisle, yo? 50 for it, though. So this joint is new, going for 80, um, black, white. I see multiple colors in these joints. This is the first time I've seen it in the shelf, though. Especially at this location. What are those? They're going for 40 though, man. But we passing. Passing on these as well, yo. They're going for 40. Multiple sizes and those. Ah, uh, what the hell? <laughs> Even though they got a bolt on the back here and the air bubble unit and it's an Air Max motion too, I'm passing, man. Far pass. Now, these joints been in here for a good minute. I have seen these. This is not the first, second. This is actually the third time I see them. I'm seeing them. And um, they're going for $99. Still got plethora of pairs left. Look like smaller sizes though. No big size. Um, haven't come down in price though, but the colorway is cool, man. I actually like it. There's a discount on the back wall, 30% off additionally. But the thing is, it's hard to find anything worth purchasing, man. Got the N7s, but these are Air Mac. Oh no, I remember these joints. We saw these originally at the Nike Outlet International Drive. Pass on those then. Patent leather joints. Black History Month utilities. Multiple pairs and those. Anything. Got some Kyrie Lowe's. I don't, I don't see anything else. Got some shock. Just keep it moving. Different colorway on these uh, Ghost Swift. 70 for those. We're passing. Pass, pass, uh, pass. But uh, I actually like the material, man. The Commandos, they're going for 80, man. If you guys are into an all black midfoot type shoe, it's cool. But the midsole, the all, that white, bro. Oh, diff, uh, yeah, you already know how I feel about midsole being white. 80 for those, though. Passing on these, clearly pass. Uh, more joy riders, man. We moving on to the P6000, bro. Sound like a Tesla, man. The miles you get in the Tesla, <laughs> P whatever. I don't know. I'm just kidding. I, I don't know. Don't trust me on that. Um, but pass on that. Wow. It's been a minute since we saw these, bro. It's been a minute since we saw these. The Stranger Thing, Tailwing, QS, Quick Strike. Wow. Uh, this is the one you can distress, right? If I'm not mistaken. Or am I wrong about that? I can't remember now. But they're going for 120 multiple sizes. They look like they come in this Jordan 1 box, but it's not. It's a Psyche Out Jordan 1 box. I like the lid. That's dope. And also got that uh, hole like the Jordan 11s. So There's a combination of both. But they're back in the building, though. I'm passing on those. Pass. Pass. Moving along. What are these right here? Patent leather, though. Look like a Jordan 1 low. We passing on those as well. Okay. So they moved these in a different location, but they're going for the same price, 150. I don't even know what colorway you want to call that. Tildy joints, BB4s, we passing. Now this joint, I actually like. These are the Raptors BB4s, Quick Strike. I like this colorway. I might even into shocks, man, but if I was to cop one at the right price, this would be it. That's $65, but there's no additional discount, man. I can't fault this shoe, bro. I'm not mad at it at all. Multiple sizes, they even have my size if I wanted them. Nope, size 10 is the biggest, eight's the smallest. So we're gonna take a look at these Hirachi types. We passing on those. This colorway, I did say I like. I like the neutral colors on that. That's cool. Don't like the price. Don't even like the style. Pass. Damn, they almost want to give these away, but even at that price, I wouldn't even pick it up. You got another colorway as well. Prices are not bad. Additional discounts off of those and multiple sizes in them as well. Are right, you good? Take a look in the basketball aisles. I keep running into these joints, man. BB Next, 180. It's full price, too. That's crazy. Mama Focus, multiple sizes and those. The Greek Freaks is coming down in price, man. I wonder if it's due to his injury. No, nah, I'm just kidding. It had nothing to do with that, man. Season's over. Greek Freak ones, if y'all care for them. They're going for 70. And then you got the gray joints. I don't even know what color that is. This is Aphrodite gray and oil gray. Wow, it's two different grays? Okay. That's how you... Okay. I, uh, y'all make the shoe. It's not for me to dispute. Uh, here's another Greek Freak one. I got a little bit of green in them. What are they going for? Looking like they're going for retail. Passing on these LeBron Witness. These lows are cool. Don't need these 17s. I like the red carpets. Y'all, I know y'all probably tired of me talking about it, man. The red carpet all red is legit. I like those. Passing on those. And then we got the KD 13s, man. Actually, I like that. I used to color I showed in my last video not too long ago at the Lake Buena Vista outlet. It was 109 as well. I prefer that colorway. 
multiple sizes. I haven't read the comments yet to determine how they hoop. So I know a lot of y'all have started responding, but I haven't read the comments. Uh, Kyrie sixes, we passed more Kyrie sixes, 109. Kyrie right here, I bet these are the N7s. Nah, because I thought the box would be different. So let's take a peek and see which uh, N7s these are. Oh, these are the salt and pepper joints. I said the N7s, Kyrie sixes. These are the salt and pepper Kyrie sixes. So they're giving us a, a slew of different Kyries, man. Saying Kyrie's now on Brooklyn. You know what I mean? So I got to support the fam. These are cool, but they're going for 130 though. Uh, if I was to get a Kyrie six, the one I do like is the, the trophy joints. It's like a red, like Iron Man colorway. It's like red and gold, but these are all of them. All right, it's been around, it's been the corner. All right, all right. Flies, the K's, sixes. I don't know how they got in the outlet so soon, man. I first walked in, I actually did a, oh, shit, I didn't even know they had Nike on the back. Damn. All right, so this is where we at right now, man. We on the Team Jordans. Not a fan of none of those. None of these. We passing. We're still passing. Pass, pass. These are the kids we're passing. Pass on that. Pass on this. Still passing. Probably gonna take a look at some clothes right now because there ain't nothing else left. I think I went through all these aisles. So right now I'm in clothes. Take a look at the stitch and sole hoodie, bro. I like this. Nike on the chest. Kangaroo pouch in that maroon colorway. Green sleeve on both sides with a little bit of extra um, pad and stripe arm. Also, the maroon hoodie on the outside and inside is green. This is not bad, bro. Very good execution. Um, I like the concept. Size medium. What is it hitting for? 50 beans. No additional discounts, though. Oh, they got the shorts for additional 30% off. I think this is where I bought. Ooh, damn. Stop playing. $21? I think I pay a lot more for mine, bro. So it's 30% off of $21, man. So I don't got the black pair, so I think I'll be leaving with the black pair. I need to bring back my other pair, man. Get back my money. Find a size large in here. Not bad. I need to buy a few of these. I'm my own joint. $21 with additional 30% off, man. Now I got this in every damn color. I got the black one. I got the red one. I got the maroon joint. I got mine to hoop in, man. Very comfortable shirt. I do have dry fits. I got some shorts over here. I don't like my shorts this short, man. I'm not a runner, so I'm passing on those. Um, another Jordan wall. Last time I saw a Jordan wall like this was in the um, last video. Uh, maybe a couple of videos back. The Lake Buena Vista spot. Focus. There we go. Focus, man. Um, they got hoodies, t-shirts. This is Nike right here. You got some Nike basketball. I don't, I'm not a fan of the Elite shorts because I feel like everybody buy those because they're so... Uh, so so cheap and affordable, which I'm not, you know, I don't I don't frown upon that. I just don't want shorts that everybody be rocking, even though I did pick up these joints. <laughs> but I'm gonna customize mine. So uh, well, we got more dry fit sweaters right here. I think some of them are hoodies. Then you got the black joints. So my shoes has arrived, man. So I had to uh, order the shoes from Nike and I had the shoes, so or my size that is. So they gotta bring it on the truck. So they told me they'll hit me up. How nice of them. They were gonna call me when the shoes arrive, and they have arrived, so I'll leave Publix, pull up and grab these shoes. It's a wrap. And we're back in the sneaker office. Thank you guys for pulling up. Thank you for watching this long. Before I get started, before I show you my pickup, you guys may already know what it is, but if you don't, you'll see it shortly. Stay tuned. I wanna address those Air Max 200s, the Hyper Royals with the Stock X tag. How's that possible, man? If you return a pair of shoes, you gotta fat check it. And once you fat check it, you see the StockX tag. Nike, if you wanna, you know, put it back on the shelf, at least take the tag off. How did I get there? That's that's mysterious, man. And I expect, you know, Nike employees do the due diligence. This is by all means no clickbait, not trying to get no tension. Just wanted to be aware, man, because if 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 Nike's accepting um, accepting returns for shoes that's purchased on StockX, I mean Remove the tag. That's the minimum requirement before you stock it back on the shelf. But anyways, we're gonna move past that. Get right into my pickups. Got the bag in hand. Guys, I am under the weather. Man, I'm not feeling too good, man. But anyways, I uh, hope it's the common cold, maybe the flu, inf influenza. I got, I got sick around this time last year, like multiple times. Who knows what it could be, but I already got tested. I'm waiting for my results. But anyways, uh, we got the black shorts. These are going for $21 with additional, I think 40% off, I can't remember. I think I paid $15 when it was said and done. What was my price? Oh, 12, 20, is that the right? Did I buy anything else? Oh, I did bought something else. Okay, so $13. <laughs> can't beat that. And I got the other color, the other colorway of this as well, but I pay outlet retail for mine. Next, bought some socks, man, to hoopin'. 
but I don't foresee me <laughs> playing ball no time soon, man, until I get better. This was like going for $7. I can't remember if there was any additional discounts. Maybe it was. Maybe I think I did use a 20% off. So I paid $4 total, $3.89 for these um socks it says extra large is it right my size yep 15 a size 12 to 15 good dry fit had to have a multicolored man and last but not least the main ingredient let's get right into it blah blah y'all see that jump man on the top of the box obviously it's the air jordan retro retro being the silhouette but anyways man so i can get this focus man peep the label these are size 12, my size, so let's get right into it. And here you go. These are the Air Jordan 6 Quies or K's, Quies 54, K's 54. Y'all have determined the pronunciation. pronunciation. <laughs> now, this is one of the two pairs that did drop two sixes. Uh, this is the purple joint, obviously. Seal leather on the midfoot. You got the seal as a midsole as well. And the outsole is just gummy, bro. Look at that. That shit is so, so nice. What's even better is that Nike ear on the back heel, dog. Okay, y'all see it. Translucent ear bubble visible on both sides, the lateral and medial side of the shoe. It come factory laced with some black laces, some purple lace lock, and some patterns throughout the shoe. Don't know what the patterns are. I didn't do no research. Now, this wasn't a shoe that I wanted to have. If I may, if I can make this uh, story about myself real quick. Uh, the homie overseas, uh, Rita, Red A, uh, hit me up, as you always do when these uh, quads 54 is released. He has hit me up in the past with two two versions. I got the ones from him and I got the threes from him. He did hit me up with the sixes, the tan joints, but we determined that, you know, after import fees and taxes, it would probably be cheaper for me to purchase off StockX. So I actually moved on, didn't care too much about it, and then I ran to him in the outlet. Now this is not the tan joints, but this is the purple. Now, it's not like I need this shoe or I wanted or I was like hyperly aggressively trying to get it. It's one of those situations where you look back a couple years and be like, yo, I got these at the outlet for X. And speaking of X, I paid 160 for this shoe. Now the second shoe do come with an extra set of laces, purple and orange, so you can swap that out if you choose to. And also in the back heel, which is different from the previous shoe, is you got the Quad 54 logo on the back. Same patterns throughout the mid foot, same nice grain quality leather throughout the shoe on the toe box. I love that out see out, so happy to have them. Uh, it wasn't a hype shoe in a sense, you know, Quad 54 is exclusive that comes out once a year and is usually overseas, but you know, here in the States, we do get our version of it. And apparently this is the version um, that Nike decided to release here in the States, man. So I'm happy to have them. I love the price I paid 160, price of a Jordan 1, can't beat that. And this is something I'm gonna sit on ice, like I said, just to look back. It's one of those situations like a story where I'll be like, yo, I remember when that shoe was in the outlet. I'm sure we have tons of those stories. Most recently, my Air Raids, could have got them 89 with 20% off. Now here I am in 2020 paying full retail. Act technically, I didn't pay full retail, but still, 2015, I could have got them a whole lot cheaper. And I'm sure there's countless shoes that I could have picked up back in the days that I passed on that re-releasing and people like. Or, even worse, you could have bought them for a dirt cheap price and now they're reselling for a whole bunch of money. Over a period of time, our tastes do change. And when our tastes change for a shoe that we passed on, we're like cringing, like, damn, that could be me. But anyways, that's it. I'm wrapping it up right here. Got me some sh socks, got me some shorts, and I got me a pair of Air Jordan 6s, man. It's only retro in the building, so I'm happy to have it. And Nike, if this video do any justice, if it helped you out to kind of identify why that StockX tag is on that shoe, man. Curious minds, hit me up, DM me, let me know. You know, I, I'm, I, I would love to clarify for the audience. If it was a return, why wasn't it removed? Anyways, I'm getting my sick behind out of here, man. I got a lot of video. Oh, man, I can't believe I was talking this long, man. You already know the routine. Thank you for pulling up. Thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And everyone, leave your comments down below and your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, until we meet again, you already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap.